Uh, before we get to uh, this Sunday, can I just ask you about, uh, do you and Kelsey have any action on Alabama, Cincinnati? Like, how does that work? Uh, I really haven't talked to him about it. We might might make a uh, little friendly wager. Mm -hmm. yeah. We'll There's been some notable Cincinnati guys here. So the yeah. Eagles have a Cincinnati connection with the Alabama. Yeah. Yeah, I'll talk to him and see. How do you prepare when you have a team has so many D linemen that are just questionable for for Sunday, like who you're going to face and styles and et cetera? And it's the same as every week. You prepare for you know every player that's on that team. Um, you know we can only control what we can control. Uh, we have nothing to do with you know them down there and what they're dealing with COVID wise. So you know we prepare like we're going to play everybody on that team. Lenny, how do you feel like the experience in the games that you? Um, you know, I mean, Coach Haven just emphasizes, you know, he, he makes a big deal, you know, one play at a time, um, you know, see a little, see a lot. It's really just that kind of mindset. And, you know, I mean, there's a lot of things they do down there to kind of help transition guys. But I think it's just more of, you know, how, how you approach the game, every play, every snap. Your health. 13 weeks was uh, a long time to play football. How, how uh, welcome was this fight for you? Uh, the bye week was great. It's you know it's always nice to get your feet under you, you know get some recovery in. You know it's it's a longer season, so any amount of time you get to have extended rest is always good. Do you believe in? Stick around here. I did. Do you believe in this like you know the narrative of the rookie wall thing and and um, and how do you feel uh, health wise comparable to like you know the, the amount of time you played. Uh, your previous stops in you know college, et cetera, not being as long as the NFL season. You know, I guess rookie wall. It's everybody kind of has their own thing. I don't think I think you kind of make it up in your head more than anything. Um, and you just can't really look at it as you know how long you have left or how long you have to go. You know, just you know being the mother. There's no reason to think about yesterday or tomorrow because it really doesn't matter right now. Um, yeah, like I said, we prepare for everybody on that team, no matter who it is. So, you know, we do that every week. Doesn't matter. I mean, we got a lot of time. How'd you guys stay together? I mean, two and five, you're yeah, six and seven with, you know, uh, playoffs still a reality. So, uh, how, how did you guys stay together? It's, it's really just about, you know, getting 1% better every day, doing what we can to, you know, become a better team every single day, every practice, every meeting, every walkthrough. That's really what it's about. It's not, it's not results oriented. Um, it's it's process driven. So it's you know what what are we doing every day to try to get better? Has anything surprised you about the NFL after being it now the three or four months at least uh, in the season? Not really. No, it's pretty much as you expect. Is there anything that maybe was like, I wouldn't say easier, but like you're surprised that it kind of came to you as simple as it did? Uh, we don't practice as much. I think it's, you know, we don't have many, not as much. I'll say we don't have as many, like, full padded practices. I, I think it is, and you know, I think that's the way it kind of is in this league. I don't, you know, guys have been playing for a long time. Probably don't need to be, you know, headbutting guys 100 times a day, five days a week, so. What about you? And, I mean, there were certain questions about, um, you know, athleticism coming in from from some um, do you feel like uh, that is you've been able to kind of keep pace in that regard uh, more than, than maybe uh, you even thought so as a rookie? Um, I don't know who said that. Um, if they don't coach me or write my paychecks, I don't really care. So. Let's take a few more for Landon. You didn't get married during the break, did you? Pardon? You didn't get married. No. Uh, you're engaged. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nick had some complimentary things to say about you, uh, liking some of your attributes and something else. And I wonder if you heard that. And kind of what you, what you I, I didn't hear that. I mean, it's it's nice, I, I guess. He's, I, I think he's a tremendous player, so um, I guess that's a good thing. But, you know, at the end of the day, I, I have a long way to go. I still don't play how I'd like to play, so there's a lot of work to do. It seems like just last one. Pardon? Do you watch much of him on tape? I do if we're watching, you know, other teams play or, you know, if, if he's playing, you know, a team that we're going to play and watching film on them.
Cool. Just, if All I right. just have one more, it seems like there's nothing that gets you more excited out there on the field when you, you draw somebody off. Uh, is, there, is there something about that that just uh, brings the joy out in you, or is it in particular? I mean, it's more demonstrative, so the referees know who jumped off sides, if the guy jumped, that, you know, we should get the penalty. You, you want to influence the, like them, the kind of thing? By yeah, I mean, sometimes, sometimes if you don't move, they can get back from the neutral zone, you won't get a flag. So you want to make sure that, you know, if they do something, draw a flag, that make it known. Good. Thanks, Landon. Thanks. You got Devontae now? Oh, right. yeah. uh, it was good. Very relaxing. Stay around here? Yeah, for the most part, stay here. Uh, I mean, I feel good. Um, Bye was well needed, you know, just to kind of get my legs back under me. Just curious, when uh, Nick addressed the full team, what was his message to all you guys this week, especially coming after the Oh, I mean, just get back to it. I mean, fresh off of bye, now you just got to go back to work. So get back into um, doing your, your routines and things like that. Has this week been different at all, just in, in terms of what Washington's going through in COVID, so are you guys doing things differently in the building? And then just the magnitude of the game on Sunday, given the stakes. Uh, I mean, just keep our space in between each other, um, obviously. I mean, just wear a mask and things like that. Just making sure we're doing the right things, um, even when we're out in public, have masks on and things like that. Does the wide receiver room look different? Say it again. Does the wide receiver room look different? I mean, we, ju we just moved into a different room, that's all. So just kind of everybody just in kind of different rooms now, just to um, give us more space. I don't think we talked to you coming out of the Jets game. What was just, you know, any differences with Gardner and Shua at the quarterback? Uh, I mean, those, those guys, I mean, they prepare. I mean, he came in, he, he got the job done. I mean, he came in, did things he was supposed to do. Uh, I mean, two totally different quarterbacks. I mean, Jalen's going to run more, Gardner's going to sit back there more. But, I mean, they both come in, they both prepare. Um, so, hats off to him. Does it change anything for you as a receiver? Depending on the quarterback, I mean, you mentioned Jalen likes to run more, so there's, I guess there's more off-schedule type plays. Does, that, does it change anything with Gardner? Or? Uh, I mean, it's the same thing with Gardner, too. I mean, he can't just sit back in the pocket all the time. So um, times where he has to get out the pocket, you have to kind of go off schedule. So, I mean, it's kind of the same. It's not often the number one receiver plays 62% of the snaps. How would you react to that? Uh, I mean, that's, that's the personnel. That's the game plan. So, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I'm not upset about it. That's the game plan. Um, I mean, whatever the coaches put in, we have to go out there and execute. So, I mean, who they have in is who they have in. I mean, all us, whatever role we have, we uh, take pride in it. How do you repeat, remain patient running all those routes and maybe the ball doesn't come to you as much as you'd like? Um, like I always say, you got to make the plays when they do come to you. So, uh, I mean, just focus on doing my job, and when the ball comes to me, just make my play. Devontae, you obviously have blown against Slay. We've talked a lot about that. But I feel like when, we, when you've talked about it, you talked about how he's – Goofy and lighthearted, but on the field he does seem to really attack it mentally. Is that a fair assessment, and is that a part of his game maybe? Uh, yeah, I mean, so he, he's big on um, getting his middle reps and things like that. Um, whether he's not in, he's coaching those young guys up, you know, kind of helping them out. Um, I mean, been, planning the game mentally is as big as just being out there because um, you have to see things happen before it happens. I'm um, tired. I mean, no, nah, I mean, I feel like I'm still young. I feel like I can still run all day. Uh, so, I mean, like I said, the game plan is the game plan. Whoever they have out there, that's who they have out there. Um, certain personnel, certain people in. So, I mean, we have to go out there and execute the game plan. Does it feel it's important that the ball's in your hands more than twice a game? Is that a fair thing to say? Uh, I mean, like I say, when the ball comes to me, I make my plays. I mean, as long as we're winning, I'm happy. No matter if we run the ball 100 times and don't pass at all, I mean, we're winning. That's a good thing. Has that been an adjustment for you, like you know, being an offense that runs the ball as often as these guys have, you know, as you guys have the last six weeks? I mean, as far as a receiver is concerned. Um, no, nah, not at all. I mean, it's been times in, in my life where I didn't get that many passes. I mean, it is what it is. That's that's the game. You have to do what's working for you. So if running the ball is working for us, that's what we're gonna do. When, when are those times in your life when you weren't getting the ball very often? Uh, I mean. High school, I mean, college, I wasn't always the guy. I mean, I came in, Calvin really was there. So, I mean, you just have to kind of wait your turn. When the ball comes to you, make your play.
you were having a little bit of an elbow issue, I guess it was. How, how's that feel now, coming out of the bye? Is it something that's healed? Or oh, it's, I'm good. I've always been good. Yeah. I was uh, returning home, watched your brother play, and uh, I guess they won the state title. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, it was good. I mean, he had something I don't, a uh, high school state championship. So, I mean, he's going to have that forever. I mean, I'm proud of him. Uh, no, I didn't make it. When it comes to the type of balls that uh, Gardner mentioned and Jalen Hurst was, are there any type of differences in the type of balls it gives when it comes to receiving? Uh, no, nah, it all looked the same to me. Monte Rodney made it uh, pretty clear post game in the locker room. Points of the next four. What is the mindset right now in this team? And how do, is there a different feel, different level of excitement playing on Sunday for given the stakes? Uh, I mean, just keep stacking. I mean, go out there every day knowing that um, right now we're fighting for the playoffs. So, I mean, every day counts. So, just going out there and make sure that you get 1% better every day. Slay was asked about you yesterday, and he ran through all of your attributes, and then he said, you know, for someone who's six foot something, 105 pounds. Uh, <laughs> how, how, how do you react to that? <laughs> uh, I mean, you just go out. It's just kind of the mindset I have. I mean, just to go out there. I mean, no matter the size, who I'm going against, just kind of the mindset that I, I won't be denied. I mean, that's just kind of the mindset I always had. Um, and I mean, that's just football. It all starts with the mental. How do you adjust it to so the change in climate, always being kind of a South guy, Southern guy? Uh, and do you think that, will that change your approach it's to, you know, in game and how you, uh, how you play? Um, no, I mean, football is football. What point did you like narrate that video? Um, it was one day last week. I remember the, the exact day.